Let us now get into the first topic of this session today. Let us look at the importance of a strategic intent. Strategic intent is more than simply unfettered ambition. The reason for a strategic, what is the intention for coming out with a particular strategy? What is the intent of coming out or formulating a particular strategy by an organization? The intention of coming out with a strategy is that they have an ambition to grow. The organization has an ambition to capture the market. They want their products to be utilized or used by everybody in the market. They want every individual to use their product. So this is an unfettered ambition of an organization. The concept also encompasses an active management process that includes, it includes various aspects that is focusing the organization uh, attention on the essence of winning. So basically what happens is the reason or the intent with which the strategies are formulated or designed or developed is to win in the market. Every organization that starts their operations in the market looks at winning in the market. They do not want to close down after two years or three years. They always want to be there for a long time in the market. They want to go ahead and see that every product of their organization is used by every individual in the market. Apart from this, motivating people by communicating the value of the target. What is the value of the target is being communicated properly by this particular organization. The intention of a strategy is to communicate this particular value of a product of the organization. What is the value that is being provided by the organization or by the product to the customer who is using this particular product then leaving room for individual and team contribution. The strategic intent is to provide proper room for individuals in the organization as well as the team to contribute much better to the performance of the organization, to the improvement of the organization. Now, for example, if the sales team is there, that sales team, the individual is allowed to implement certain strategies in his territory. And if that strategy works out to be very successful, then this particular individual strategy is being adopted on a larger scale by the entire team. Now, if the entire team finds the, the strategy to be very useful, then that particular strategy is implemented by the company or the organization in all the territories that it operates. So this way, the involvement of the individual as well as, as well as the contribution of the team starts becoming very, very important for a strategic intent. Then sustaining enthusiasm by providing new operational definition as circumstances changes. So it is very, very important to sustain the enthusiasm of people by providing innovative strategies, by providing newer strategies. When uh, there is something new to uh, implement, the people, the salespeople find it very, very useful, find it very, uh, find it as a different change from the monotonous work that they have, using the intent consistently to guide resource allocation. Yes, human resource allocation, financial allocation, various aspects of resource material. It could be material it could be the raw material, it could be any resource that could be involved. So the strategic intent helps in providing proper utilization of the resources. For example, if an organization decides that they would manufacture the product just in time, so the, the resource here, the raw materials here are purchased just in time to produce the goods that is required to be supplied into the market. They do not keep that particular product or keep that particular raw material in the, in the factory or in the organization for a long period. So this reduces the cost on the investment on the raw material. So this is another strategic intent of that particular organization. So strategic intent becomes very, very important because based on the strategic intent, the organization can move forward, they can move to the direction that they desire.